Rosemary Sutcliffe's retelling of the legendary romance, Tristan and Isolde, is a masterful work of literature that brings new life to an ancient story. The novel is set in medieval Europe and tells the story of the forbidden love between Tristan, a young knight, and Isolde, the beautiful bride-to-be of King Mark, Tristan's uncle and liege lord. The novel is structured around a series of interrelated conflicts that drive the plot forward. The central conflict is the love affair between Tristan and Isolde, which is forbidden by the social and political conventions of their time. The lovers are forced to hide their feelings for each other, and their secret passion leads to a series of tragic events that ultimately result in their deaths. The novel explores themes of love, loyalty, honor, and duty, and raises questions about the nature of love and the human heart. The character of Tristan is complex and multifaceted. He is a brave and skilled warrior, but he is also a sensitive and empathetic soul who is deeply affected by his love for assault. He is torn between his loyalty to his uncle, King Mark, and his love for assault, and his inner conflict is a major driving force of the plot. Tristan's character arc is a tragic one, he is ultimately unable to reconcile his love for assault with his duty to his uncle, and his tragic fate is a testament to the power of love and the human heart. Isolt, too, is a complex and fully realized character. She is a beautiful and intelligent young woman who is deeply in love with Tristan, but she is also bound by the social and political conventions of her time. She is engaged to marry King Mark, but her heart belongs to Tristan, and her struggle to reconcile her duty to her future husband with her love for Tristan is one of the central conflicts of the novel. Isolde's character arc is a tragic one as well, she is ultimately unable to choose between her duty and her love, and her tragic fate is a testament to the power of social convention and the limitations of human agency. The supporting cast of characters is also well-drawn and fully realized. King Mark is a complex and sympathetic character, torn between his love for assault and his duty as a king. He is ultimately unable to prevent the tragic events that lead to the deaths of Tristan and Assault, and his own fate is a tragic one. Brangain, Isolt's loyal servant and confidant, is another well-drawn character who plays a crucial role in the plot. Her loyalty to Isolt and her attempts to help the lovers overcome the obstacles to their love are a testament to the power of friendship and loyalty. The novel is written in a beautiful and lyrical style that captures the spirit of the medieval world. Sutcliffe's prose is rich and evocative, and her descriptions of the landscapes, castles, and battlefields of medieval Europe are vivid and immersive. The novel's language is also deeply symbolic, with recurring motifs of the sea, the moon, and the stars that underscore the themes of love, passion, and destiny. Overall, Tristan and Assault is a masterful work of literature that combines a compelling plot, complex characters, and beautiful prose to create a powerful and moving story. Sutcliffe's retelling of the ancient legend is a testament to the enduring power of love and the human heart, and her novel is a must-read for anyone who loves great literature.